Right then, before we start this week's video, just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's just uh, subscribed to the channel over the last couple of weeks. Welcome. Uh, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. And for all the, those that are watching for the first time, I'll quickly introduce myself. My name's Rich. Behind me is my VW T25 um, that we've called Poly Grey. Uh, in the intro next, you'll see pretty much where we was when we had her to, and the progress we're making on doing it back to being a camper. So you know what? That's something you find interesting. Hit that subscribe button. Cost you absolutely nothing. Hit the bell notification so you know what? You don't miss out when I upload a video. And I put one on pretty much every week. So guys, let's uh, have a look at this week's video. Cheers. Hope you're all okay. Uh, it's Tuesday morning. Uh, don't start work till this afternoon. Uh, get a job done on this van. Um, you know, I, I, I can't rely now just on the weekends. That last weekend was weather was terrible. Um, and now, if you've heard what I'm saying, I'm going to start on the inside. I know it's not completely ready. It's not completely watertight. But I'm going to order that seal for that window and try and get that done this weekend. Uh, and then carry on on the inside. Um, so jobs was there, let's go and have a look what we're going to do. We're going to sound dead in um, the inside. Just show you. There yeah, guys, just going to sound dead in the inside of this van. Um, and I'll quickly show you what it's for and what, what, it, what we're doing. You may know. So I bought the dodo mat um, sound dead in. I know that's quite a branded um, make. Um, but when I bought it for the 12 sheets, um, it was probably coming out the cheapest. And why do we use it? You're all wondering that down now is too. And I'll quickly try and show you some exp like an explanation if it comes out on camera. We want to get rid of this sound. You see that resonating you know, of that panel? I'll show you another panel. And we get get rid of that by sticking on these um, sort of sound deadening pads. Um, and we put those all over. We use as many as what it takes, I guess, to stop that sound. So it's like a dull knocking sound, but I'll explain. Um, I, I have seen a lot of YouTube videos. And, and you know what? People can do the job whichever way they want. So that it, it, that's entirely up to them. But you do see people covering the whole inside of the van with a sound with these sound deadening pads i don't believe you need to do that um, from my experience of working the motor trade um, they're on most cars now um, if you was to strip the car and you just put them on in sections just to stop that sound as many as you need um, there is products to cover all the inside which more of a phone that dodo do but i don't think this particular part product um, is what you want to use um, for that so what we're going to do then, we're going to put some of these pads on um, and then we'll try and explain and try and, I know it's difficult on camera, but of, of, it, of what it should do. And hopefully it works. There's me saying don't cover all the inside and then probably on something like this, I probably won't be far off. But let's have a go. Um, let's start by sticking a couple of pads up and let's, let, let's see what sort of um, effect we get. So... We're going to have to do before and after sound effects, aren't we? So we'll do this one first. So we've got this one, which is on the is which is the side. I might put a couple of pads on there, see what sort of sound it is after. Um, what you will need, the backs of these are quite sticky, but we'll apply a bit of heat with our trusted heat gun, and then we'll because it may be a little bit hot, we'll use something just to roll the, that sort of the pad on. But I'll get my stand. 
um, and we'll show you. Bear with me. And that's pretty much. I'm going to try and hold the camera steady. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. You see, she used it round bits on the roof. The roof could do with a little bit more. Um, but I knew I'd probably have to buy just a touch more of this again. But you know, you don't need to cover it. I'll show you the. I know I keep, everyone does these videos and just keeps tapping the panels, but you'll know when it's dead and so. Uh, just sounds hard. Um, done all in there with little pieces. <laughs> oh dear. Bit round the back there. I need a bit more. It's a lot better than what it was. Saturday, it can only mean one thing. You're right, just chucking it down in bloody rain again. <sighs> so, turn you around, I guess. Let's have a look. Let's have a butchers. So, wanted to paint the side of the van today. I'm waving you around. So, wanted to paint the side of the van, so that ain't gonna happen. Um, so, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this floor back in. Well, not this floor back in. I'm gonna go and um, measure up. This is the old one, I kept everything when I stripped it all out just for cuts really and measurements. So I'm going to put the floor in, put the insulation down, everything I need to do like that. And I'm also um, going to start having a look at getting this bed in. And that's when I say I'm putting the bed in, mop the bed up so I can see where the kind of the, I'm going to run the electrics to. Um. Right then guys, how are we all doing? So while it's been absolutely throwing it out outside, I've been digging through the um, digging through my garage, and the bits I had for the um, roof and whatnot else and everything I stripped out of it, and I think I have figured out how this works now for the Super Viking roof, um, which is a bit of a it's hard to sit on the camera. I think that piece then slides all the way back when it's open um, I've got bits of wood here on the floor they're all broke but I think I'll be able to figure out and work out how it all goes together and I'm spinning you around a little bit and I think what happens then when you're at a campsite this then all lifts up when the roof's up so it gives you standing room the piece here above our head slides back um, to give you access above um, I'm just Oh, stuck inside, you can see from the windows it's pissing it down outside. Um, just trying to figure a bit out really. Um, gonna go and grab some floor um, wood for the floor in a bit when Lisa finishes work. Um, and have a go seeing how this bed and that's gonna get together. Um, I want to get the bed in the floor down first because um, I want to put all the electrics in behind that bed basically. So I'm gonna work on that. May hopefully. Hopefully the weather will improve a little bit tomorrow. Might be able to get on this paint this quartz what I really want to get done. Um, but these days, to be fair, why I'm got a lot of time. I'm great trying to figure stuff out or what needs to, um, what we need to get and whatnot for the van. So stay tuned. Exciting stuff. I'm glad I've um, figured that out. How that all works up there. Obviously, all the wood's broke, but I'd have to replace it anyway. When I change the colours for my uh, kitchen, I use the same lightweight ply um, and do it that way. So stay tuned. Right then, good morning. So what a difference a day makes. So yesterday, as you all know, threw it down the rain. Uh, it's Sunday, so I'm gonna do some work on this van. Um, keep showing you this side, never any more progress. But yeah, gonna try and paint this uh, rear quarter today. Um, get that done. That'll be almost started, might as well make the most of the it not raining. And then I'll show you a few things I bought in the week um, that I'm going to fit. But I might fit those in the week or I'll start working on the inside now when the weather's uh, bad on the outside. So um, I bought black 240 hookup. Obviously that's going to get... That will get fitted to the side there. Um, 
also what I've bought just so I can show you I am going to the only thing I do want I don't want to put obviously space inside a premium isn't it on any sort of camper van so the water tanks I do want to put an underslung uh, water tank so I will be putting in there as well maybe next to it something like that um, somewhere we can fill the water up I bought a bit of thin uh, five mil ply because I will put um, I'll put this on the backs as well so we can sandwich but I'll show you what I'm going to do with that um, another thing I bought as well off eBay um, and I'll show you where for so I bought some sort of sound ending foam pad um, and I'm going to use that for this engine bay I'm sort of I'll show you I'm going to use that up there and then across um, just to get rid of some of that um, maybe get rid of some of that engine noise just a little bit although it doesn't bother me to be honest and you're not going to hear the engine when you parked up camping so but it was only cheap that roll was 13 pound uh, and if it's any good or I've got some left I might just go over sort of in these wheel arches as well it'll be good for in the doors as well because the windows go down um, as like a sound ender because obviously you got to you don't want to stuff them with that um, other installation because she won't get the windows down so that's the plan for all that then um, but I'll see how this works out that phone so it was quite cheap so I'm not on you know I might even before I I might even do inside the tailgate with it as well just more insulation I suppose um, so yeah that's the plan for today so let's crack on this job's gonna start coming in thick and fast i say i know it's probably hard to all sort of explain to you yesterday but i've got all the pieces of wood out for obviously what goes on up there when that's up uh, i've pretty much figured it out obviously it will all have to be made again would it anyway because the wood i want i will use the the same sort of plywood that we decide what color we're going to do the kitchen and the unit so also started the uh, getting the parts out for the bed obviously i bought new um rock and roll bed hinges from um a show we went to but yeah it seems like ages now before all this lockdown when the when shows were still happening i suppose um so they're slightly different to those so i've looked on i they look like they're just campers ones so i've uh, printed their plans off for that bed and i'll be honest with you once i can get this sort of bed mocked in the floor down uh, and whatever else, so I'll be start using it. If we get a weekend out, you know, it won't be this probably till next year. But if we get a nice weekend next year, I'll be using it. Even if it's just got a bed in it, um, that's it. I'm gonna shut up talking. Want to start? I can't stop. Um, oh yeah, and just another thing as well. I uh, went out yesterday to B and Q. So obviously that's the plywood there for the floor. Now when I took this out, it was one piece. But in B&Q and everywhere like that, I'm, the only sizes they do, I'm going to end up doing this in two sections. Which I don't really want to do because I don't want to see the split down the middle. Um, so if anybody on here knows where I can get plywood cut to the right length and shape of that, stick it in the comments below and I'll get some ordered. So I'd, I'd preferably want to do it in one piece of plywood. So just let us know guys. Well, I'm going to crack on. Let's get this uh, guide co flatted off this quarter panel. It's a bit damp this morning. Um, but should be alright. Let's get this quarter panel flatted off. And think about getting it in some, some sort of paint today. Bear with me in just a second. Right then, guys. Uh, so where are we then? So, um, flatted back all that guide coat. Well, hands are shaking. Uh, flatty back all that guide coat Obviously the blue is the masking so we're going to carry on masking it up now And then I'll mix some paint up I'm not going to put too much thinners in the first couple of coats and get some coverage especially around that windows not great um, I'm going to start putting some paint on you've seen all this before so I'll probably just do a finished sort of um, finished photo um, Obviously I'll put tape on now so um, I mentioned I'm going to spray out loud and it started to the winds picking up um, and then if we have a decent um, if we have decent weather in the week 
may get that um, sliding door in paint and that's all that's left to do is the front door and we're nearly there aren't we with the outside ready for the winter so I'll carry on with that uh, catch you in a sec right guys one quick tip I've started putting some paint on the van now um, and obviously um, it's going on alright to be fair I'm just doing around the top section which is probably the worst but one tip I will give you if you see there don't be scared guys this is just cellulose paint if that's what we're using so if you're not happy with any part of it during, during where you've um, started to paint it just let it dry a bit eat gonna get it dry just give it a flat back then give it another coat straight over the top it's the beauty of this stuff you haven't got to you know if you're not happy with the repair or there's a scratch in it or whatever you want to try and get out just get it get it out before you put another coat on what i'm gonna do i'll um i'll show you that there so that's showing up quite bad the rings in that filler so i'm gonna i'm gonna knock that back just a bit now with a bit of 600 and in some other areas around the top when i'm it's starting to blister up just a touch um and i'll show you when i'm done just bear with me right then guys i'll quickly show you what i mean um so i've painted that late dry a little bit with the gun doesn't take long i uh, wasn't quite happy with it there so i've just uh, used a bit of 600 on a block and flatted that back just a touch see that it's dull again um also here some lines in it there um i wasn't that happy with it but that's me being mega mega fussy but it's just showing you what you can do with this sort of um with this cellulose stuff really it's dry so you can just urge you all to do the same just if you're not happy with something it's not the end of the world when you start putting this stuff on wasn't quite happy with that there either um that repair so i put some gray on waited for it to dry and 600 that back so now i'll mix some more paint up um go over it all again then hopefully that should do it as i say if you're not happy with it once you've done it god just Beauty of this stuff, like I say, just let me sand it back a little bit with a bit of 600, go over it again, do it in a month's time, do it in a year's time. Um, doesn't matter. Uh, keep working on them. Keep trucking. As living the van life says. Just keep going at it. Right, I'm going to mix some more paint. Right then, guys. Keep saying that. Right then. The quarter's painted not great um, but we know plenty of paint on there um, plenty of paint on there so we can flat that back when the weather's uh, maybe one of the afternoons this week not a bad job um, it's getting there paint that side molding also so yeah guys quarters done um, I'll order a window seal for that um, the window this week as I get it from sales direct, I was quite happy with that other one. Uh, and then, nice little job painting that sliding door, get that done. And then the front door, in into the front door first, get that off one of the whip. Hopefully, what would be nice, we get that paint in the week, get that door off Saturday, paint the inside, door back on, and then the outside, then the van's pretty much done, painted. Um, so yeah. I'm fairly happy with that to be fair. I'm banging it out because I struggle with it really. Um, it has hazed up in a few places, but we know that flats and mops out. I don't worry about that too much. Uh, just get the paint on really, like I've just said. Um, then spend the time flattening it back and make it look good enough. Right then, guys, catch you all uh, in a bit. Right then, good morning. Uh, let's start then, show you what we're going to do today. Um, painted the uh, rear quarter the other day. Um, Saturday today, uh, it was my birthday in the week. Um, and hopefully, post a video this Sunday if we get some work done. Show you what we're going to do today, quickly show you. So, so guys, I am now. God, I bought some sound, more sound ending really, it's like a farm, supposed to be fireproof, whatever else. Uh, bought it off eBay, um, it was about £13 for that roll, bought two rolls because um, it was quite cheap and it looks quite good. What I'm going to do from here, 
back and across to the engine bay um, I want to give it a little bit more of a sort of um, sound ending um, I may if I've got any left put some on the insides again but I'm saying I'm being really fussy with it now I knew I would I'd always end up going over the top um, it's quite noisy to be fair the van but it doesn't it doesn't really bother me if that makes that makes any sense and obviously when you park at camp like this you're not going to hear the engine anyways you only get to sit, hear it when you're when you're actually moving it at the minute it's just a shell so once you start putting things in an insulation it will it will help with the sound anyway i'm sure so i've never done this before guys so i am going to try and get that stuck on the back of there if you see it has got like the factory sort of sound ending still on there um so we'll just try and get a little bit more on Right then, initial thoughts, I guess. I'm quite pleased how that's gone on there. I mean, it has marked in a few places. Um, I've caught it there, but I've actually quite. I was worried more really because you've got quite the got quite a lot of shape in that sort of rear. In that rear, haven't you? So I was more worried that it would like really be a lot worse than that to put on. But that's not too bad. Um, it's a 10mm phone, just see if we can get some more of that engine noise out, so um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with it for now. Looking alright. Right then. End of uh well it's not the end, I've got to go and pick these up in a bit, so this is what I'm up to. Um so ordered that foam. Um and fitted it to the back. Uh, not a bad job, really. It took ages, though, longer than what I expected. Um, and over on the engine cover, um, that will probably be covered with a bit of plywood anyway. Um, that I can remove um, when I've done the kitchen. I've also, if you can see. I've thrown some up in there, and I've took some in there. I said I wouldn't send in everything. Look, I have, I've ended up going around most of it. But I suppose a good thing with this stuff, I've got it. I've not I've paid for it. Might as well use it. Might as well stick it in those wheel arches. It should um, help with the uh, sort of engine noise. Um, so that's it. That's probably not going to see what else I'm going to do today. So I'm going to fetch Lisa. Um, yeah, quite pleased with that shape from the outside. So yeah, it's moulded in quite well for the price. Um, I think it'll be all right. That stuff there is different to that stuff. That the, the stuff I've done the engine bay with. To be fair, it was about the same price. It's better stuff than than that, but it, that's harder to put on. Um, so. Uh, that's where we are with it guys I'll catch you all in a bit see what we're gonna do next still haven't done that put the up that in there um, uh, just haven't got round to it today just time goes dead quick I'm trying to do these things right right then started to go dark so obviously you saw we've done the uh, 
bit of foam sort of dented inside and I've just started as you can see got the mop out um, it's not finished yet uh, it's just started to mop this quarter up uh, it's coming up all right to be fair um, and that's me done for today guys um, tomorrow it'd be lovely if the weather's nice it looks like it's gonna rain in a second but it'd be lovely if we can get that quarter painted um, tomorrow but if not we'll uh, We'll carry on the inside, uh, try and get those electrics in. Didn't finish that today. Um, but yeah, it's going to look quite nice, I think, when she's done. Right, and guys, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Right then, good morning. Uh, Sunday, so mopped the rear quarter up yesterday. It's looking quite nice. Um, just put the mould in and polish that. So, jobs that I'm going to try and get done today. So, quickly show you. Weather's not great, but it's not windy. I've said that now. It's not windy. It'll freaking gale force winds in a sec. Um, so, and it's a little bit damp, but I'm going to have a go at painting that um, sliding door. See if we can get that done. Started flattening it back. See how far I get with it. I have got jobs still on the inside, which is a, which is good now. Um, and I think I'm going to leave you there, guys. So, guys, yeah, I'm going to leave this week's video there. You don't want to see another painting video of uh, me painting the sliding door. I've done enough of them. So, hopefully next week when I post, it'll be done. If not, something's happened and probably the weather's changed dramatically as I was trying to do it. But guys, on that note, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thanks for supporting the channel. Um, say to you guys with your comments. Uh, that keep me posted and keep me um, putting videos on the older YouTube. So, guys, I know I keep saying it. Thank you again. Um, if you're new and you've got this far in the video, you know what? Consider subscribing. It's absolutely free. Um, and you watch me do, you guess by now, watch me doing poly, go up my VWT 25 for pretty much limited funds really so <clears throat> guys thank you see you all next week